Alright, so this is the part 2 of the scoping file that we have and then now I'm going to just show you how to create a wire mesh in all renders so I still have the four camera views here like this you can see and then I'm uh, just gonna go to hypershade over here and you can look at all the materials we have so this is all our V-Ray materials V-Ray grass, V-Ray textures you can click this to get the bigger icons and I prefer to view it as a list and then I can just look through all this sometimes so to create a V-Ray material with a wire mesh we start by creating the V-Ray material first so this V-Ray MTR button click on it and it creates this these two files out and then uh, on the diffuse color over here we were just going to put a V-Ray edge to it so that this will connect to a wireframe edge so normally if you have a RGB map you can put it under the diffuse color as well so the main thing with uh, texturing like a basics is to just use the diffuse color so we click on this icon here and we are just gonna look at the 2D texture okay but it's already over here so but anyway just telling you this time it's under 2D texture and you are gonna grab V-Ray edges to link this to our diffuse color so our diffuse color will be linked to V-Ray edges after you click on it so you double click it and here we go so your V-Ray edges will be plugged in over here automatically and uh, now if you just look at the V-Ray under our material viewer you can see that it comes with a wireframe on it so let's apply this to our model so normally I tell you to right click and uh, assign to texture so another way you can do it is to just uh, do a drag and drop over here and then we just put it on it, top of it so I'm using my middle mouse right now and just do it one more time middle mouse click drag and drop and then I'll just put it on top of it so if I press uh, number six yeah you're not seeing the feedback but uh, this will come with the wireframe when I just do a render so to do that I'm just gonna do a test render right now uh, click on the render view and you can see the result if I just do a test render here render one so right so it comes with all the wireframe so this is successful very very good so this is what we want to submit and uh, this will look good on your in your own uh, render and another way we can do to improve this wireframe is maybe I could just put the black color to a neutral gray that so that it's kind of the same as the background so let me go ahead and try that so I'll just go back to my uh, click on this arrow here so we are controlling the V-Ray edges and then we can just control the black and white color so let me pick this gray color over here and then uh, I'm just gonna do another render here so click on the V-Ray frame render buffer and then click on the little teapot and even do another render here so the test render is going pretty fast it's not bad so I can go with this or so you can render with uh, just a gray color on white or another way I can do is actually I want to do it the other way I want to do a light gray on, for the wireframe and then a black on the extra no I should do a black on the edges and a light gray on the light gray on the uh, mesh itself so let me try that do another render and we'll see Ooh, so this looks good yeah so I think I'm going with this pretty sure so this looks like a 
great render to be honest so I want everyone to use these settings so either use this or you do a background color with a slightly darker gray okay so this will give me a really good result just gonna try that let me finish this slightly darker gray wonder which one okay I'll pick this one this time perfect man perfect so this will give the best result to be honest and I'm just gonna wait for it to finish rendering so back to uh, while waiting I'll show you the render that we have done just now so this is the project page uh, so you have this uh, project set up and uh, just now our renders will go automatically to the images over here if you set the project correctly and this is the four files we end up with so just double, double click on it it's looking a little bit bright but uh, it's okay you can also go to Photoshop and just darken it slightly if you want and uh, just a slightly touch up but uh, not too much just uh, make sure the it looks good for a final maybe you can consider putting it into your portfolio okay if you do a good job and uh, so it comes with the four views so it's pretty good so you can just let it run overnight or you can just you know as I said before in the previous video you can do a batch render and then go get a coffee or do your other stuff and come back so you render all the four views for you which is pretty good and I'm gonna do the same for my wireframe render once it's done and uh, once I'm happy with the test render I'm gonna pop it back to the uh, full rest render and then I'll just do a batch render for the four frames again and then I'll put the uh, another underscore wireframe behind from this render so that uh, it comes with uh, the right naming convention when I render and it's not gonna override the same render files as before uh, well it's finishing rendering yeah it looks very nice here Yeah, and it uh, seems like it's automatically clicking the next view as well. So that's good. So I... Oh, jokes. Is that it actually replaced my first render, so that's not a good thing. Okay, I have to quickly rename it. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's because of a render error. But you get the idea. At least I've already have a copy of my files. This is the beauty render files. So see, so that's what happens if you didn't rename your file in time. So this is a beauty render, and uh, it's gonna put these files in. And uh, and later it will not overwrite my files. Computer is a bit slow because it's rendering. Right, but uh, I can tell it looks pretty good, so I'm happy with it. So, so uh, take a look at this gray. So this is will be the gray that you want to render with. So it's uh, from the left one, two, three, four, the fourth one or the fifth one. So you can pick the gray color, the fourth or the fifth one from the right. I recommend the fourth one and uh, it should give you the same result so that's for the put a grey color for the background color and a black edge and this will give you a very good result over here so to finish this off what you should have done here is to go to render settings and then so as I said before type underscore wireframe over here so it's just gonna render it correctly close this go into my render view again make sure my test resolution is on full resolution this is important and we will be back on track and uh, you can start rendering doing a batch render so what you can do you can go back here and then you can click render batch render 
So before you do that, just gonna save your file again. And remember to other version. And you're done. Now you can start doing the batch render. Alright. So thanks for watching and uh hope you learned something from here and see you next time.